Local Weather Authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. Check out the all-new Nissan Titan 100,000-mile five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Clear skies around the valley as we look at the Graver Pulse Building Weather Cam. And, ah, first full week of spring is at hand, and the calendar spring has started. Now, that means the direct rays of the sun are north of the equator for the time being. And spring, well, it officially started at 5.37 this morning. So we're going to have a great forecast for that first full week, too. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Beautiful weekend. Uh, it's going to be even nicer tomorrow. Might see a cloud or two, but a little bit warmer. We're going to see three days of rain next week and a warm week, day and night side. It's going to be above normal. Now, Terre Haute, clear of 44, dew points at 30, pressures steady at 30.40, just a light east wind. Low temps, uh, real range, 32 at Vincennes only. Flora, cool to 27 at Mattoon, 26 at the airport in Bloomington. Made it to 61 in uh, Vincennes and Terre Haute, 59 at Paris, 60 over at Washington. Right now, north to south in the Valley, Paris is cool to 43. 40 at Marshall, Casey, 45. Vincennes checking in at 42, 40 over at Bloomington. Headed for a cool night, seasonally so, though. Winds coming in out of the east. These are lighting up overnight, 6 uh, miles an hour is the wind speed average at Terre Haute. Metro view, <clears throat> no clouds to be found right now. Clear, comfortable night coming up. Seasonally cool. Then tomorrow, we're going to warm up even a little bit more. Big picture, uh, next storm system doesn't get in until Tuesday. Right now, everything's fairly quiet across the U.S. You zoom in, take a look regionally. A few clouds out <clears throat> around the Omaha area moving into Iowa. That's about it. Local satellite and radar, nothing to be found out there. Future cast. Looks like we'll stay clear overnight. Start the day out sunny tomorrow. This model updated at 6 and started to put a few clouds in here as we go into the afternoon and evening hours, and it's persisting in that. See that Monday? We'll call it partly cloudy, maybe mostly cloudy later in the day. Tuesday, we'll start to wait for some rain to arrive. At least through close to midnight Monday, we don't see any rain in the offing. Probably more Tuesday morning after the sun comes up. Nine-day precipitation. We'll let this roll through, and here comes that rain in on Tuesday. And likely we'll see showers. That'll push out of here by early Wednesday. Thursday, another round comes through, and that should push on out of here by Friday. We hope pretty early in the day. And then, as you saw there, Sunday looks like another round of showers coming through. Now, Tuesday, we'll add a thunderstorm chance in there, but overall, it looks like we're going to end up March above normal in rainfall after a very dry start to the month. Now, temperatures next week. Of course, the green shading is the warmer air. It stays uh, comfortable, and then we see a little bit of a surge there midweek. Really not anything to complain about on tips. It's going to be very, very nice out there. Now, tonight, we're talking 33, seasonal low, clear skies, just a light east wind. And then as we look ahead to tomorrow, 65 for the high, lots of sunshine with an east wind. And then looking ahead on the extended forecast, we're talking about more 60s as we go right through midweek. Cool a little bit there, Thursday, Friday. And then showers with maybe a rumble of thunder Tuesday. More rain Thursday, and we hope that tapers off reasonably early on Friday. So that means Saturday next weekend looking pretty good. Nice, very warm weather. Omar's back with sports after this.